In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Claude 3.7 Sonnet, but with a powerful twist that nobody's talking about. I was already using Claude 3.5 to help me write scripts for my newsletter, LinkedIn posts, and YouTube shorts. But Claude 3.7 Sonnet takes it to an entirely different level. But the secret isn't using just Claude. It's combining it with an external tool that makes your writing process 10 times more effective. I personally use this to help me create content. If we haven't met yet, my name is Brock Messerich, and this YouTube channel is AI for non-techies. I showcase how you can use AI every single day to make your life easier and more efficient. All explained for non-technical people like myself. With that said, let's dive in. All right, so first things first, we're actually not gonna be using Claude 3.7 Sonnet on the Claude website or anything like that. We're gonna be using an external tool in order to leverage the technology behind Claude 3.7. So instead of coming here, let's exit this out. We're going to come actually to the description. We're gonna grab this link here and that's gonna take us over to Poppy. And essentially we're just gonna create an account, log in, do whatever we need to do here to sign up for an account. The first thing we need to do now is come over and click on new board. And first things first, we're gonna see a blank canvas here. The first thing we need to do is actually go ahead and drop some information here. I'm gonna pull up this AI chat right here and as you could see we could either choose between Claude 3.5 Sonnet which is what I used to use or we could use O3 Mini but we're gonna focus on obviously Claude 3.7 Sonnet for this video and you're probably asking okay you could chat with Claude 3.7 Sonnet here what's the big deal about that and the big deal about that is the information we could tie into our AI assistant that leverages Claude 3.5 Sonnet so basically I'm gonna show you how I use this to help me write specific newsletters I use it to write content for me so I'm personally gonna show you how I use this every single day to help me write content, whether that's my newsletter, whether this is posts in my school community, whether this is writing out scripts for videos, or even just synthesizing information for me to digest. So the first thing I wanna to touch on is we could actually go ahead and paste in a YouTube video to the canvas. So I just pasted in the first video here, and this is essentially a video from one of my favorite creators, Kane Calloway. It is titled, How to Write a Killer Script that keeps viewers hooked. So essentially we're gonna be leveraging all the concepts he talks about in this like 10, 15 minute video and tying that into our chat here using Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So we could do this with any context. We could come over, we could drop in a YouTube video, we could drop in recordings, images, texts, documents, websites, as many things as we could think of and use that as the brain of our assistant. So this is essentially giving Claude 3.7 Sonnet specific information we want it to use. Let me go ahead and get a few more videos that I actually want to give to our knowledge base. All right, so I added two more videos, how to master the art of speaking and then how to create irresistible hooks. So if we wanna create content, these are the three best videos I've ever found on how to actually craft your scripts and how to speak when you're creating content. Next up, I'm actually gonna add these into a group here. And remember, we could add any information here we want. We could add a website, we could add Instagram videos and whatnot, but this is good to go. I'm gonna name this folder content creation frameworks because these are frameworks we wanna follow when we're actually creating creating content with Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Next up, we're gonna attach this to our chat node. And this might look complicated, believe me, this is so simple. And this is why I actually love using this tool. So next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come to Claude 3.7 Sonnet and I'm gonna ask it to essentially condense all of that information from those videos into a document. All right, so I'm basically prompting Claude 3.7 and saying, break down the information in these videos I provided discussing Callaway's techniques for crafting the most engaging content possible. I wanna know any mental models he follows. Think of this output you will give me as the blueprint on how to create the best content. Let's go ahead and give that to Claude 3.7 and see what it gives us. All right, so it actually wrote out all of the core concepts that he covers in these three videos. And the reason this is so amazing is because we could add any information here and we could speak to it with Claude 3.7 and it will condense this information for us, speed up the learning process and whatnot. And this is amazing. What I'm gonna do, however, this isn't the end. I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm gonna come over to a text document here. I'm gonna paste all this information here. I'm going to also connect this here. So what it will do is it will now use these and always write my scripts based on these core concepts that he touches on. One thing I want to say as well is this output here is much better than I have seen with Claude 3.5. So I'm super stoked to be using Claude 3.7 because it was already the best. So next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my own YouTube videos. So that way it could understand the type of content I like to create. So it could kind of replicate that same style. All right. So I added three of my videos here. So we could get a sense of how I speak in the type of content that I create. And one more thing I need to do, actually two more things. So I'm going to connect this here. So now this is connected to our chat here using this as a knowledge base. So then what I just did is I pasted a link to a video about a new topic, or this is a video on Claude 3.7 Sonnet, 
summarized in eight minutes. So I could either watch this video and basically take notes myself, or I could speak with this and use this as context to help me write content. So the reason I'm using this Claude 3.7 Sonnet video here is because I'm actually gonna use our chat here to actually write me a script for a video about Claude 3.7 Sonnet based on my type of videos that I make, as well as using Kane Calloway's script writing and storytelling formulas. So as you can see, it's not just leveraging Claude 3.7 Sonnet to write something out for us. We're leveraging other data sources and tying it all in with using this platform Poppy. And I personally love using this to help me write ideas for LinkedIn, newsletter, all these different platforms in order to help synthesize information, especially when a new tool comes out, like something like Claude 3.7. I'm gonna click on new chat. Next up, I'm just gonna say using the video I added about... All right, so here's my prompt. Using the video I added about Claude 3.7 Sonnet, as well as the Callaway videos explaining how to create the best content along with my content, create an engaging YouTube video intro where I cover Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So let's give it that and then let's see what it's able to give us using Claude 3.7 and all of this context here. All right, so here is the script. Today we're talking about Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Anthropic's most intelligent model to date, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing, this isn't just in another incremental update. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is what Anthropic calls a hybrid reasoning model. So it's using, this right here is an example of what Kane Calloway talks about in these blueprint videos. So you can see if I come up here, it's actually using this three-step hook formula. So it's using the context lean, which establishes the purpose and the techniques. It adds a stop scroll, the scroll stop interjection, which acts as a stun gun to stop the viewers from scrolling, adding a but, however, or yet, which it actually did right here. But here's the thing, and then it gives kind of contrary take. And then it uses a contrarian snapback, which the purpose of it is to redirect the viewer's attention in an un unexpected direction. So you could actually see if we analyze this script that it's utilizing those frameworks that it pulled from those Callaway videos. So there we go. That's how I could use this to help me with content. I could then pull in different LinkedIn posts if I wanted to kind of use my LinkedIn post as reference and context or other people's that have performed well. This is a great way to, for you to leverage Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which is already good at helping you write out content, whether that's written content or spoken content, as well as pulling in different contexts, whether that's videos or blog posts or whatnot. So this tool is something I use personally every single day to help me learn whenever there is a new topic in the space. However, there's so many different use cases that you could personalize this for, and I wanted to cover it in this video. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you tuning in, and I'm super excited to see what you guys can build and write with Claude 3.7.